Hello everybody and welcome to another Fixing Stuff video with me, Chaz Large. I uh, hope you're all keeping well. Um, a bit of a change to uh, things. I've got a, uh, another new uh, camera uh, with a great big fish eye lens. <laughs> uh, basically it's a, it's a cheap way of making it go to uh, 1080p. But there we are, it, uh, it does the job. But uh, we're going to be using this really for the close up of, of me in the corner. Uh, you're not really going to be bothered about looking at me all the time anyway uh, today on the bench we have got uh, a sony veo uh, this is an old sony veo um circa oh i don't know 2007 it's a windows vista machine uh pentium dual core processor um it's a model number vgn nr30am and the complaint is it won't start now um interesting to, to uh, note uh we've got some uh leds on the front which you can see there so we've got a power led here and we've got a disk drive uh, sorry battery light and a disk drive light there uh wireless on off switch which i find is really useful and the old uh, uh laptops you can actually just physically switch the wireless off as opposed to having to find a key combination whatever um, SD card and a memory stick card uh, who's got memory sticks do anyone remember what memory sticks are anyway I haven't got any so I couldn't test that bit if, if need be anyway um, I give it a brief uh, power on test just now and it didn't do anything so uh, let's just try it again uh, whilst we're on camera we've plug plugged it in apparently the battery is knackered so uh, it will only run on uh, when it does run it will only run on power um, so we've got the power switch here and uh, let's just have a little look at the lights uh, and see what happens so power on so the battery light flashed and that's about it apparently it does make a little bit of a noise so let's uh, see if we can listen to that nothing okay so it seems to be completely dead now obviously the first port of call in any laptop is to check that the power adapter and it's the original uh, sony power adapter here um, vgp ac 19 v28 um, and i've checked that and it's given out the correct voltage um, into the, the socket on the back so I know that that's okay um, so where do we start well um, in my experience um, with um, laptops um, or any computer really um, one of the first things I always check is the memory uh, because memory can cause all kinds of funny things it can stop you getting into a boot up it can start up and uh, des desktop typically gives you a series of beeps if the memory is bad or something like that um, so I've always found that uh, with laptops because they are usually very accessible rather than having to strip it all down and check power supplies and things uh, we go for the uh, memory first and foremost so let's uh, go there okay and um, we will uh, look at this and we've got a uh, little panel on here uh, which uh, usually contains access to the hard drive and the memory uh, obviously more modern computers you have to take the damn things apart to get to any of that but anyway the older ones um, we've got a little tab on the side here and that usually just sort of pops out if my memory serves you correct yes it does there it is so what have we got in here we've got two so dim uh, modules and 512 meg of ram there pc2 5300s is that one let's have a look at the other one and uh, see if that is the same type of module so let's just pop that out and yes that uh, has got the same uh, type number on it so in order to determine which one of these if possible or if it is uh, is at fault what we'll do is we'll leave this one out and uh, we will uh, plug it back in and reboot it so uh, whenever you've booted up a laptop um, with power sometimes they go into uh, sort of like a, uh, a, a kind of a stasis mode so you keep the power on even though you've turned it off it's kept various things powered up so you should always remove the power so if you're working on a laptop uh, work with the battery removed and just run off the 
AC power so therefore when you turn it off it, you get a full power off restart, restart. so we've taken out that one out we'll plug that one back in and uh, we will uh, open it up back to the bench there we are we'll open it up finger on the old power button and power it on just heard the hard drive move but nothing on the screen and there you can hear it shut down so it would seem that it is uh, uh, not that RAM chip at fault which is good so power it off that's given us a as I said a full uh, power off reset so let's pop this uh, SO dim back in let's take this one out repeat the process open her up and again you might be able to hear the uh, hard drive if, it's, if it does the same as it did before oh now we've got a hard drive light come on and we've got a Phoenix BIOS boot yes so and a Windows logo boot so that before that gets going let's uh, shut it down Windows will fix that if it's uh, caused any issues uh, Windows that looks uh, that's easy done so uh, it looks like the problem is with this uh, uh, good old uh, memory chip which has failed for whatever reason there we go right so there's the chip type and we can see uh, it's a Samsung chip but obviously it has failed and generally speaking once these have failed um, they are not repairable so you have to replace that luckily I have a stock of various um, SO DIMM chips and uh, we may be able to find one of a similar nature uh, so we can restore this back to normal working condition for our customer so let's take that out and uh, we'll go and have a quick check in the store cupboard for uh, some replacement SO DIMMs right well I've uh, had a little delve in my uh, box of goodies and I managed to find uh, two lots of SO DIMMs of the same type um, and the simplest way of checking uh, if it's the same type or uh, first off is to check to see if the actual pin uh, notch and uh, connectors uh, are the same um, but obviously uh, if it's a PC2 which is what we've got 5300 uh, or greater should work in the same thing so um, we've got two lots of chips we've got two 512 uh, megabyte uh, chips made by Promos whoever they are and I've got two Lintz uh, one gigabyte uh, chips and I have a word with the customer and he says quite happily yeah if you can improve the RAM it might make things a little bit better it's a slow old computer but she doesn't use it for much just uses it for uh, letter writing and, and stuff like that and the odd um, bit of Facebook so you know doesn't play games or anything on it it's, it's so old for that she doesn't use it for that but it's just handy to have a spare computer so she said happily uh, replace uh, and upgrade the RAM so uh, that's what we're going to do so let's put these two five megabyte RAM chips away and before we uh, go any further we'll take this faulty one and we will write faulty on it so I should put that in my little cubby hole of faulty bits uh, and that basically comes from the days when I used to do technical training. I used to keep faulty components and put them into circuit boards. So as when you were teaching engineers how to repair down to component level, they actually had a faulty component uh, to find rather than a blob of short circuit across a circuit board or you know a wire trace cut or something like that. Anyway, let's pop these chips in uh, these uh, SO DIMMs into here. that one into there and I think I rescued these from uh, another old laptop that had uh, pretty much died a few years back we'll 
plug that in and then we'll connect up the uh, external uh, um, grabber uh, so we can see what happens on the screen when we log in okay so I'm just going to plug in my uh, VGA monitor adapter and we'll uh, switch to that over if we can see that and we shall boot it up um, see if the old lights come back on again yep and we've got a BIOS screen coming up that should appear on here when the uh, computer detects there's a, another monitor there we go uh, there we are so we're logging in booting straight into um, Windows 10 now I remember a few years back um, this customer uh, brought this to me with Windows 7 on it and worried about all the uh, problem with Windows 7 bit going out of thing and could it run Windows 10 and it was a bit of a uh, experiment really to see whether it would um, but we uh, um, I backed it up backed up the hard drive and uh, installed a fresh copy of Windows 10 and uh, yep it installed and it's been updating fine ever since um, all the hardware uh, was recognized um, so it just goes to show an, an old Windows computer can run uh, Windows 10 quite happily um, you don't need to have uh, you know a new flashy um, um, computer to run Windows 10 it will run you know, I wouldn't say quite happily but it runs okay um, and uh, having now there we are we've got oh, that's the, um, the logged in screen uh, and I remember also Sarah said um, um, when she asked me to put that on there she said uh, is there any way I can not have to worry about a password and I said yeah we need a password obviously to protect it but we can also set it so it will automatically log into the computer for you so you don't have to worry about the password you obviously need to keep the password and keep it safe in case you need to do anything um, with it or make any changes uh, but yes um, there it is and um, but it all seems to be okay have a quick little look at um, the version see what we've got uh, running at the moment Windows R and then Winver And that should tell us uh, what uh, version of Windows 10. Oh, no, yes, even um, he's upgraded it recently to uh, the latest version, 20H2. Uh, so it's actually really well up to date. Uh, that's good. Uh, obviously, got no internet at the moment because it's uh, it's not connected to my network. I could have connected, but I'm sure it will update itself. Anyway, uh, we seem to have uh, um, everything going okay on there. Let's just go sys info um, and that should bring up system information and we uh, when we get the system summary refreshed uh, we can see uh, that there it is it's a Sony Veo and uh, we've got uh, two gigabytes of physical RAM um, total available 1.99 gigabytes so that should be um, with that extra little uh, doubling of the memory uh, should um, make things work a, a little bit better for Sarah so uh, she can keep it going for a little while longer yet but there we are uh, a successful uh, fix uh, down to a faulty RAM SO DIM um, she did say now it just springs to mind that she did say that it had been crashing um, uh, by itself intermittently um, and sometimes it would start up and then shut down so presumably that chip uh, that SO dim, uh, dim was on the verge of going um, and then the other night she said it just won't start and that's uh, that's what we found and uh, there we are so we fixed it so it's uh, a good little fix anyway uh, that's all for now um, take care uh, keep well and keep watching and I'll see you on next time bye bye <laughs>